uh, if you're trying to look nine first and then look at six. So, so we have a presentation for looking at the nine, please. Thank you. Thank you, Chair. This application is a retrospective one which seeks approval for a single story extension and access gates. The sequence of, sequence of events is set out in the introduction of the committee report on page 50. However, in summary, the development was carried out contrary to the previously approved plans. The flat roof which was previously approved over the garage is now a sloped roof which matches the design of the existing property. The previously approved wrought iron gates will now be replaced with solid timber material and the side boundary wall is a different design in that it's stepped upwards because there is a difference in heights but is no higher than previously approved. This application is to seek approval for the, the amendments to the roof design and extension which are considered acceptable with no harm to the character of the original house or the street scene in general. In terms of the front and side boundary wall, these are the same height as previously approved and it's deemed that there's no breach of planning control in this respect. In terms of the solid timber gates to replace the previous wrought iron type, which you can obviously see through, has raised an objection in terms of highway visibility coming out from the neighbouring property. In terms of their appearance, we, we consider their acceptable, acceptable design and match quite a number of boundary gate materials within the street scene along Seabank Road. The nature of the concern related to visibility issues has been assessed and it's a similar situation to other access points along Seabank Road and there's no highway objection related to highway safety. However, there is a condition proposed to ensure that the gates open inwards to protect public highway safety. It's considered that the changes are relatively minor compared to what's been previously approved and notwithstanding that, we do consider that these are acceptable and we recommend approval. Thank you. Does the board council want to come forward? Oh, yeah. Okay. Application 
Also, a change of approval from wrought iron gates to solid timber gates at the front. Application 134-01069. A breach of application 110163 for Shepherd's Garage Group. And a change in agreement to approval 13001069. Although he is an, apparently an engineer by profession, Mr. Kendrick has explained to the planning enforcement officer that he had not realised he was building this rear extension from the plans he had been advised he needed further planning approval to proceed with, and therefore had gone ahead notwithstanding. It is also clear from this report, it is not also clear from this report what the change of appearance referred to in relation to application. 1301069 is, although listening to the planning officer, it appears to be the step nature of the side wall. Page 51, last but one paragraph, refers to the objects of concerns relating to the line of sight due to the solid timber gates proposed in this application. However, it would be more accurate to say that their objections relate to the loss of any kind of line of sight for both pedestrians and themselves due to the combination of the side wall, accompanying pillar and solid timber gates. 